Scott Org knows the hidden gems in Coronado, and today he's taking me to a family-owned restaurant and wine bar, and it's making waves and bringing a taste of Italy to the island. Scott, we're here in beautiful Coronado again. Not a day goes by with the sun shining here and the beautiful waves and the airy breeze. And we're here in a nice Italian restaurant sitting in the patio here. Talk about where we're at and why this special location in our guest. Well, special location for me because it's only a block or so from <laughs> yeah, my house. So it's kind of right. nice, really close. It's one of the little restaurants off the beaten path. It's uh, Nato Republic and with one of the newer restaurateurs to come to Coronado, Sandro Lefanero. Sandro Lefanero. From Italy, Hello. all the way from Hi. Italy. And he's got a vision for something special here, and it's really a special place we enjoy. So you, I always consider you as like the Coronado, like fun fact guy, because you seem to know everything about Coronado, the nits and bits of it. What made this restaurant stand out for you? Oh, uh, you know, it's a different. Uh, Sandro creates a, kind of a little dining experience, more than just a place to come get food. You know, my, my wife and I, we eat out quite a bit almost every night. And, uh, you know, we would go out, get food, and go home. We came in here after one of my Italian clients told me it was the West best wine selection, the best Italian wine selection in San Diego. We came in here and came in at like 6.30 and ended up closing the place down at 11 o'clock one night. So yeah. it's just a really nice experience, kind of laid back, kick back, to see all the neighbors experience. Right. Yeah. So then what's the tie here? I mean, how did you guys connect and get to know each other? Well, it, it was uh, pretty, pretty natural. So yeah. uh, we, we became uh, a uh, pretty uh, friend, uh -huh. uh, let's say, because uh, of course uh, Scott is a frequent uh, customer. <laughs> yeah, frequent <laughs> yeah. customer, but he's a very uh, positive energy yeah. personality. And uh, uh, from day one, he came in and uh, he tried to support us with a compliment and everything. It's a very uh, an encouraging uh, presence here, you know, uh, from day one. Can you talk about how you got your start in the restaurant business and why? choosing it to open it here at Coronado? Well, I, I started in the restaurant business when I, when I was pretty young. Uh, after my professional cycling career, um, I thought I have to have a job where I can stay with people right. and everything. And the restaurant business and this kind of business, the bar business, was, uh, was my uh, perfect place. Uh, I started pre pretty young. Uh, I moved to Thailand, I opened a uh, few businesses in Thailand, and uh, then I went to China, I opened a few businesses there. Okay. Yeah, and then um, my, uh, from my young background, uh, I got a, my best friend living in San Diego, which is the owner of Bottega Italiana, as a popular place right, yeah. right, right in San Diego. And so we always said we have to meet each other in the future, make some business together and create this family business, this family uh, atmosphere that uh, we always wanted. And finally this year, after many years looking around, this happened. We found this place in Coronado and we are in love with Coronado. The people uh, around here are amazing. Uh, it's not working. It's really, really having fun. <laughs> yeah, <it is laughs> yeah. so Living in job, paradise yeah. and having fun, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because the people here are very, uh, very polite, very, uh, very special people. Really. How would you say uh, makes your restaurant stand out? We never take things so um, seriously. So we, we understand that we can make mistake, and then we make it like in family, you know. So uh, it's a relaxed feeling and everything. We talk with the customer. Uh, how is the food? How is the wine? Uh, if we make some mistake, of course we. Uh, try to remediate with a, <laughs> with a smile, you know, right, and this right, make, right. make everything more easy. And I think that the customer... Uh, well, I'll tell you from a feel. customer, I was yeah. from say, a customer, yeah. a customer's perspective, what makes it special is that it is a special experience. I mean, it's coming, it's a dining experience or a drinking, it's a wine bar actually with great food. And it's a kind of place to come relax and see local people here from Coronado, see a lot of local people. I'm sure there's some tourists stumble in here, but it's really, I think, mostly filled with people I recognize when I come in here and see it. I know about half the people or more than half the people in here. Yeah. So it's a it's a neat little local kind of, uh, again, a getaway. A gathering yeah, spot a gathering almost, spot, right, for, yeah. the, for the community yeah. of Coronado and just to kind of unwind and take it all in. You're going to have some renovations, I'm told, in the uh, sunny, summer days? Yeah, we're gonna have uh, one more uh, upgrade. Okay. We we, we plan to um, right now. Uh, 
it's winter, so we, we didn't do it, but uh, we plan to, we, we saw the people like to, to sit in outside the patio and actually it's not, not easy to find places with uh, uh, exterior seating here in, uh, in America. And we plan to open up all the place with the garage door, make the feeling the open air because the, 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 the weather here in California is uh, the best. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Well, after being in Asia, tropical uh, climate and everything, I tell you, this is the best climate in the world. So the people. I agree. And Coronado is even a little better than the rest of the county. Yeah. I mean, we're a little yeah. bit warmer yeah. in the winter, a little cooler in the summer. Yeah. And exactly. It's a pretty nice place to be able to eat outdoors. Plus, we don't have bugs, which is amazing. Oh, That's yeah. Oh, I noticed that. You can eat out, out in a restaurant outside without any bugs. No bugs at all. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. <laughs> What's your favorite thing on the menu? And I'm curious. Uh, I'm know, excited I, to try I'm some. I'm you know, pretty sure. I used to like the pizza, the, yeah. the, mar the, mar the pepperoni, pepperoni pizza, but then they started with their tortellini and a bunch of pastas, and so I'm kind of going through it all, and I yeah. like a little bit of everything, There's so it's pretty good. nothing yeah. like good comfort food. The yeah, pasta, and then a good pairing of wine as well, right? Yeah, this is, uh, I think it will be our, uh, and I will keep surprising Scott, because this is our, how we set up our product. We are super flexible. We are able to uh, propose new product almost every week, because uh, I create a menu, so. His uh, mama cooks it, or his husband yeah, cooks exactly. it. Oh, wow, so it's so really family. Yeah. We, we, we found out here in the morning with mom, and then we sit down and we said, oh, okay, what we do, can we do something new today? And then uh, in a few hours we create something and then we propose to the customer. Of course, before we propose to the special customer <laughs> to get the, the real, uh, uh, the real uh, feedback. The guinea pig. And then when, they, when the, the feedback is positive, we put it on the menu. I don't mind being a taste tester, so if you want to try <laughs> yeah. anything, I, I like to eat. So. Yeah. That's together. good. We're going to try, we're gonna try good. something. Yeah. I have some good. Some, some dishes? Okay, good. that's good. Well, thank you, Sandro, for sharing your story about Nada Republic and how you got your start here in Coronado. And Scott, as always, giving us the inside scoop of Coronado as well. Thanks. Thank it's good heavens. Perfect yoga session. I know, such a good day. And you look so cute in the outfit. Thank you. Your friend makes this? She does. And the name is Vest, and I'm so glad I got to introduce you to the brand. It's really amazing, and they're becoming huge in the United States. So, you want to grab a bite to eat? Yeah, we're too. We're going to the mall. We're actually going to UTC Mall. The it's, mall? Yes, it's uh, great. They went through a big transformation, and I have a treat for you. Okay. Priscilla, when you said that we were going to the mall, I had no idea that you were going to bring me to one of my favorite treats. I know, I'm full of surprise, <laughs> you right? Are. So since we're wearing a Brazilian outfit, we just had our workout, and you told me that you love acai. Love it. I wanted to bring you to the first acai house. And I am so honored to introduce you to my friend and founder of acai house, Gustavo Schneider. Well, thank you for having us. Thanks for coming by. So congratulations. This is the very first acai house. Yes. What, wh why acai? I think acai, it is known as to be a superfood full of antioxidants, healthy fats, and minerals. And uh, in seeking my own health, I found acai, and I wanted to kind of promote that idea to the people of San Diego. And that's fantastic. I feel like acai has just become one of the most popular foods right now, um, especially for people who are health conscious. And it's been huge in Brazil for so long, and yes. both of us are from Brazil. So we grew up going to the beach, that it's very natural for us. You go to the beach, you have an acai bowl. And I think what people don't know about, there is more about the fruits, right? Because when you look at the history of acai, between the 80s and the 2000s, uh, the people from Amazon used to harvest and cut down the trees to sell palm. But since acai became so popular, now those communities are improving their lives by just harvesting the acai and exporting to the world. So when you are eating acai, it is beyond nourishing your own body, you're also helping the local communities. That's incredible. Yes. Is there um, acai that's traditional acai or? So the main thing about the acai, it is the amount of antioxidants. So it has to be harvested and it has to come to a frozen state quite quickly, otherwise it loses its property. So we get our acai through fair trade and it's certified organic. The ships to the U.S. At our facilities, we'll be preparing it with other fruits and ingredients, make it like a 
full-on rich nutritional experience. They put so much love and work into this place. Yeah. It's been like a work of love for sure. It's been it, 18 months. It has been 18 months of research between finding the right recipes, working with nutritionists, coming up with this great location, 18 months of work, and are really proud to kind of launch the business. And it's a beautiful location too, not just the store itself, but beautiful in the mall, the UTC mall. It is spectacular. Oh, he thought of everything. Because <laughs> UTC mall, this mall went through so many changes. I mean, it's incredible. Everybody that comes here, got, it's blown away. Yes. The great restaurants. You have um, two gyms here, Soul Cycle and 24 Hour Fitness. So it, it, this couldn't be perfect. Yeah. We're just trying to bring a healthy option to the people uh, in this community. And uh, it is, uh, we have our acai bowls, we have the uh, smoothies, so everybody loves the smoothies. And uh, what we're trying to do with our smoothies is beyond the fruits and vegetables, is to introduce also uh, nutrient powders that have uh, kind of benefits to your gut, to the digest system, and kind of making our own twist to what's already known uh, as a smoothie. That's fantastic. And you do have a lot of choices, so I've seen the board. And you've been here. What I've been here before. I love the tropical smoo uh, smoothie and the berry bowl. And then, how about you? What is the most popular or your favorite? I think if you are a peanut butter lover, then you have to <laughs> check it out. Our peanut butter bowl is delicious. Uh, our bowl berries, the classic acai combination, and the tropical, that's your favorite, yeah. instead of using almond milk, we freshly squeeze pineapple juice, so it has that nice acidic to it. And then how do you come up with recipes like this? Uh, we work with uh, a nutritionist for about six months, testing and trial, and uh, coming up with really something that is different. So all our bowls are signature bowls, and alongside of the acai, we put together about 15 ingredients, each one of them. We don't add any water, we don't put ice, there is no dairy or yogurt products, and all the sugars that comes are naturally from the fruits we use. So they even thought of, I love the decoration here, they thought of everything. They even have a green wall, which is beautiful and would take beautiful right. selfies. It's perfect for selfies. I, I already saw a couple of people taking selfies. I did too. <laughs> what we try to bring is like beyond the menu, is also the experience from our guests while they are in the store, and we want to give them this experience as well. Well, you have an absolutely beautiful store, and everything sounds delicious, but is there any chance that maybe we could try one? Yeah, I'll make one for you now. So good. I've officially had real Brazilian acai. You did, <laughs> yes. So Priscilla, I will work out with you every day if this is how we get to finish our day. I'm so glad we had our day here. <laughs> and you to see this mall is just incredible, all the changes that they made. It just yeah. keeps getting better and better. And I just love this area. I feel like it's such a hidden gem because people don't realize all the amazing homes that this neighborhood offers. Yeah. Well, I feel like you would know this place so well. You've probably sold so many homes here. I have, and I just recently sold a home here in the UTC area. Great house, great neighborhood, great schools, and my clients are super happy. Absolutely, and now they can walk and get acai bowls. I know, how lucky are they, right? <laughs> so cheers to cheers us. Cheers to us, thank you.